Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Woot woot, happy Friday you guys. I hope that you have had a good week. It has been a very um, crazy week in our country here in the United States. We do not talk politics on my platform ever. But let me just say, I think we need a few prayers and well wishes for our country right now. And that's it. We're not discussing anything else. We're not going to make any derogatory comments about anything. But I just think that as we address different things that happen around the world, you know, we have the COVID and we talk about that a lot. We have um, wildfires in Australia and out west here in our country and hurricanes and we, you know, pray for those people, that for their safety and all of that. I just really think that we need to say some good words for our country right now because we're kind of pretty much in turmoil. End of story. I just really wanted to, yeah. Okay, Friday. I did not think that I would be able to go live today. Like, not any way it was going to happen. And I told you guys that last night, right? Um, I am still working on swaps, and I thought, whoops, <laughs> my banner on my door just went, boom. <laughs> I'm still working on swaps, and I thought, well, why don't I just work on swaps with you? Because I want to show you this card that I created last night. It's pretty cool, super simple, and it uses the gorgeous Friends Are Like Seashells. This is a brand new suite in the JJ Mini Catalog. And I just got it out to play with it last night, and I thought, oh my gosh, this will make a fantastic swap. I am actually making 19 of these for a demonstrator event. I am headed to, I was going to leave and be there by 3 o'clock, but it's already past that, right, here in Wisconsin. Um, but I'll be leaving when I get these swaps done and get a little something to eat, because I'm kind of hungry. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Nancy. I saw Lisa come in. Hi, Lori. And I just want to let you guys know, if I don't say hi to you or I miss your question or your comment, I know sometimes people comment about stuff that I should be responding to, um, but there are so many messages that come in on my phone. If you've ever done a Facebook Live, it's about this big. That's the amount of room that I have as those messages are scrolling up on the bottom of my phone. So it's almost impossible no, it's not almost impossible. It is very impossible for me to see all of the comments. So just know that I appreciate you being here. And the ones that I can see, I will say, hi, Nina. Hi. Here comes Andy. Welcome. I'm going to get myself up here on my iPad. So when I turn this around, I will be able to see your comments. And let's see if I can find myself live and not stumble around here like I usually do. Boom. I'm getting better, you guys. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, here comes all my great comments. So I'm just going to set that over there. I thought first thing I would do is I'm going to get through the rest of my mail. I just got some mail today. I'm going to share that with you first while you guys are all getting on here. I know this is a very unusual time for me to be live, but I said that I was going to go live every day this week. And because I'm leaving for Oshkosh today, I probably won't be live tomorrow unless I can sneak in a little live at the event. I think you guys would really love it. Hi, Jody. I know Jody and Rose are in Oshkosh right now um, at the event. And uh, I believe they're at Friar Tucks for lunch. Jealous because my stomach is telling me, feed me. I hope I don't chew off an arm before we're done here. <laughs> but Steve, oh, yesterday he came home with... Um, Enchilada Bake, so I'm calling it Enchilada Bake from Costco a la Steve. And oh, is it good. So that's what I'm going to have to eat when I'm done here. So first of all, I want to show you this gift that I received from Amy Pri or Jamie Priest. Look at this beautiful card. I think this is going to be my kit class for January using this bundle of products, you guys. I am hoping to get all of this information figured out tonight while I'm in a hotel room and I'm not distracted by all the things in my office because you guys know, squirrel, 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 squirrel. <laughs> like it's really hard to stay focused when you have so many different things going on and I'm a major multitasker so that causes a lot of problems, right? And when you do an online class and start getting all the details ready for it and figuring it out, you really need to be able to 
focus your brain and not be distracted. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I think I'm going to use this. This card is from Jamie. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Yeah. So, <laughs> Jody's waiting for me. I am so hungry, Jody. I can't even tell you. Jamie sent me some little gifts, and I have to show you these. Jamie makes um, masks, and as soon as the pandemic hit, Jamie was making masks like crazy. And I just have to show you these. These are really nice masks. And um, they're, they have the little pointy things on the ends and all the deals. And But look at the gnomes. Are they not the cutest little thing ever? I was like, oh, the gnomes are so cute. And then she also sent one for Steve, which I thought was super sweet. Jamie is just the best. And here we have... What? What? Beer. Beer, people. We got lots of beer here. So that was really nice. We've got lager and stout and ale and, oh my gosh, all these beers. Jamie, thank you so much. You are so sweet. There's even a little slip in here that tells you how to tighten the sides and how to use them. So I so appreciate that. I also got some new containers. Now, if you guys remember, Jamie's the one who sent me all the containers for my embossing powders. And so now she sent me a container for the gold leafing, right? Gilded leafing. That's a new product. Let me see. Let me grab mine. Uh, everything's really organized over here. Oh, look at it. It's right here. This stuff. This is so, so cool. It is amazing. And I'll be showing it to you, not today, because I have to play with it a bit. I really haven't had time to dig into that. And I like to sit down and see all the different things I can do with it so that I can give you a whole range of different ideas. But this is from my Gilded Leafing, a big deep dish. And then Jamie sent me another bowl for the heat and stick powder. And that's a new product that goes with the Gilded Leafing. So, Jamie... You are the sweetest. Thank you so much for that and the masks. All of it will go to good use. Oh, let me put the card back in there too. Hang on. Okay, then I received a couple cards in the mail today. Um, Connie, or I'm sorry, Kareem Mariki is my team member from Hawaii. Look at this pretty card she sent me. She sent me some gifts that I've already shown you guys, but she forgot to put the card in. So she mailed that a little separately. Not a little separately. That was dumb. A lot separately. <laughs> How about that? That's dumb too. But look at what a pretty card. Yeah. And um, Kareen says, hope you have the merriest Christmas and joy New Year. I forgot to add a card to the box I sent you. Maybe Haley can use the extras. She will too. Thank you so much, Kareen. Then we have a card from Connie Bushman. Look at this pretty one. Nice and simple, but I love those trees and the plaid paper. And Connie says, Kelly, Merry Christmas and best wishes for a happy, healthy new year. Sorry a little behind sending out my cards. Don't worry. I was too. I got family cards out the door on December 23rd, two minutes before I left to go to my mom's house for five days. So, <laughs> all right. Next we have, this is from, hang on, let me get this open. This is from Alice Martinez. Look at how pretty that is. I love these dyes over the embossed snowflakes. Very, very pretty. And it's to Kelly and family. It says to all our family and friends, care deeply, give freely, think kindly, act gently, and be at peace with the world. This is the spirit of Christmas. And you got that right. Thank you so much. Last but not least, today is another really fun card. This is from my friend Lori Krause. She is a demonstrator out of Manchester, Michigan. And um, she's one of my fun, funny people that I love to spend time with. It says, miss you both, Lori and Dave. Thank you so much, Lori. That is just beautiful. All right. We got everybody on here. I think everybody has had sufficient time to check in. Hi, Sue. Hi, Karen. Welcome. I've got Jane on here. Oh, Jane's going to be in Oshkosh. Yay, I'm so excited. Hi, Lisa and Peggy. Did you get your share cards done? Nice to see you live today. Um, I'm going to work on them while we're... I'm going to show you what I'm making, and I'm not finished yet. <laughs> I had some people ask me how Anna is. 
Um, Anna was doing better when I talked to her yesterday. And um, she got some muscle relaxers and that was kind of helping her out. She wasn't so like, like she was just a zombie. Not from drugs. She didn't take any drugs, but the pain. She couldn't move. She couldn't think. She couldn't function. So she was talking to me and doing better. And then Steve went and took Molly to school this morning because, you know, he's trying to help out while Anna's down and, and out. And um, he said, he told me that I need to call Anna because um, Andy or Molly said she wasn't doing that well this morning. So I still have to do that. And I will. I hate to bug her because I know she's not sleeping well at night. So then she sleeps a lot during the day. But thank you guys so much for your prayers and well wishes for her. Because um, I know that I have experienced back pains in the past. And they're horrible. So bad. Oh, and Jackie just took her dad for a COVID vaccine. I'm glad you're back here. Hi, Donna. Who else? We got Francie in. Francie's going to be in Oshkosh virtually. I'm glad you can join virtually. That's a really nice option. Okay. I think that we are ready to flip this around. Oh, you know what? I forgot to draw for the door prize. Darn it. I'll have to do that later, you guys. I completely forgot about it. I was going to do it after I posted that I would be live, and then I forgot. Okay, so we're going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you this really pretty card that I made for these swaps and show you how to make it and show you some goodies with the Friends Are Like Seashells. So I didn't get my fancy software that I bought hooked up yet, so we're still doing old school here with flipping the camera around, but I guarantee you that the fancy is coming and you're gonna really like it. I think I'm gonna really like it too. All right, so here is that amazing stamp set. Let me get some lights on here. And uh, here's the dies. Now, these are called something. <laughs> oh, really, Kelly? Well, you're fancy. These are called sea Seaside Seashell Dies, and they come with this great big giant one, and then these little ones that go with elements of the stamps. Now, this is a really big stamp set, you guys. This is, um, who just asked me about Oshkosh baby clothes? Megan, is Oshkosh where the baby clothes are made? Megan, it is. Oshkosh Bagash is in Oshkosh. And also we have Oshkosh Truck, which makes military trucks for the government. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Friends are like seashells. Good question. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Perfect. I'm glad to see you here, too. And Megan, I see Megan's on. And Linda, welcome. So, and Helen says this is the first time she has caught me, caught me live. Helen, I'm so glad you caught me. All right, you guys know that I'm on every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. And you'll find me right here on this page. It's a stamp above Dasher Creative Coach. Set an alarm on your phone for like 6.50 every Sunday night. You can do that on your smartphones and it'll pop up an alert for you and it'll say, Kelly's going live or whatever you call it. Um, or you could call it something like, my rock star Kelly is going to be on live. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Here is the embossing folder. Look at this amazing embossing folder. This is one of our 3D embossing folders and wait till you see it. It's just so spectacular. The stamp set has 23 different stamps in it. And let's see, I'm gonna get out my mini catalog here. Here is the whole suite on page 40, 41 and 42. And look at these beautiful cards that Stampin' Up! has given us for ideas. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful images of the stamp set. One thing you might not know about Stampin' Up's catalogs is I have people from time to time who will ask me specific questions about images. Like, Kelly, can you tell me how big that shell is? The shell is actually as big as it is pictured here, as are the sentiments and all the elements. This is the true size of what's in the stamp set. So if we were to take the sand dollar, for example, it's that big, okay? So that's kind of neat when you're trying to plan things and you need, you know, you wanna make sure that the shell's really big or it's really small or whatever. It's a really neat way to know is that these are all, let me get my hair out. <laughs> I know you guys probably can't see that, but I can and then it's distracting. That's a really great way for you to know what size the images are and 
Um, sometimes when I show you a stamp set like this, it just looks like all a bunch of tiny little things. But in the catalog is how big it really is. So you get two sheets of um, stamps. Okay, so included in this suite, look at all those delicious cards. It's called the Sand and Sea Suite on page 40, 41, and 42. We also have these opal rounds. Let me grab a pack of those. I was using them for some other swaps that I was making. Here's the oval rounds. And then we have the seashell stickers, which I just saw. Here they are. It's only because I moved into my new office that I'm so organized, you guys. Well, not really that organized, because there's still I still can't find my tape dispensers. But thank goodness Debbie um, sent me that one that clips on stuff. Where does that go? I don't know. Oh, I see it. It's on my light. But here's these self-adhesive die-cut stickers, okay? And they're pearlescent. They're very, very pretty in real life. Those stickers are only $6, and you get uh, three sheets. So one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And it looks like 25 of each one of these. I have rubbing alcohol on my fingers and I keep licking them to like get the pages from, you know, being stuck together and it tastes pretty gross. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So there's our seaside shell stickers, the opal rounds. These are super, super pretty and you can see they have little iridescent flecks in them. They're gorgeous. You get a hundred of these. There's two different sizes for $7.50. So that's a pretty good deal, right? We also have the Pearl Essence Specialty Paper, and I did not, I have not used that yet, so let me see if I can find it. Let's see, I've got, remember the window sheets I couldn't find someday? They're right here. Yeah, duh. Here's some more window sheets. Um, I've got black glitter paper here. That's retired. That needs to come out of here. Oh, I've got lots of it. <laughs> And maybe I'll give that away. That would be a good door prize, right? Because black glitter paper is amazing. Let's see, what else? Hang on, this is the paper I'm gonna be using, I think, for my online kit class. And guess what? I found the paper I'm looking for. It's right there. So hang on while I set these back and make sure nothing's stuck to them. So doing that, what I just did, that's how you get dyes stuck to these and then you put them away and you never find them again, right? Uh, hang on. Okay, so here's this paper, and I could have used this for my swap, but I kind of forgot about it. You get two sheets of 12 by 12, and the paper is $4. <gasps> Look how pretty. I hope you guys can see how very, very shimmery pretty, and it's shimmery on both sides. It is beautiful. Two pieces, $4. Make sure you add that to your order if you're going to order this. Or did you guys know that when we have an entire suite, that there's one number right here for the whole suite. You can just put in one number. It's going to give you everything here. This whole entire thing is $92. So let me keep going here. Whoops, hang on. I've got to show you the designer paper because it is so, so pretty. Here it comes. I love all of these designs. Well, you know what? Let me pull it right out of here. Look at how pretty that is, right? And then we've got this beautiful seashells on here. Now, this paper coordinates with Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Sahara Sand, Seaside Spray, and So Saffron. And look, that looks like sand, like the bottom of the ocean, I think. So beautiful, beautiful. I'm pretty sure that these dies, will they fit? Oh, I don't know if they'll fit. It looks like these will. Will these fit on here? Usually it fits on our designer paper so you can cut out different elements. So here's, here's one. Let me get this out of the way so nothing sticks here. <gasps> Look how pretty this is. This is like watercolor and it's just gorgeous. Oh, I love the sand dollars or whatever those things are. They, they're not really sand dollars, are they? There's some type of little amoeba-y things. <laughs> Science was not my best thing. Amy said she did her first live and it went well. Good for you, Amy. Okay, look at this. 
pretty, pretty. Oh, look at that. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. So I just grabbed a couple sheets because the card that I was gonna design and make for all of my swaps, let me get these little bits out of here because otherwise they'll get lost in there and I won't know I have them. Um, the cards that I made for my swaps, you know, obviously I need 19 swaps. So I needed to make a few more, or I, I mean, one, two sheets of this isn't gonna go for 19 cards the way I designed them. It would only make six. So I grabbed a couple different patterns. Oh, that goes in there too. All right, let's get busy. Where's my card stuff? Here it is. So I've got some Whisper White Thick Card Stock. And by the way, you guys, all of our basic white card stock is in now. Remember, Whisper White is gone. We have basic white now, and it's all available to order. So if you were waiting on, um, because we ran out of white card stock when the company closed and whatever, you were waiting. It is now available as well as envelopes and note cards and envelopes and all the good things. Okay, I've got an envelope. By the way, this is five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. I've got a piece of gray granite here. So we're going to do our fun um, die cutting first. I am going to take this great big giant die. And this piece is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's just a quarter sheet of card stock. I'm going to bring in my big boss and we are going to die cut this. Now, as usual, I like to kind of put this in, not straight, but kind of at an angle. I just find that things cut better for me if they're really big like this, and I do that. So here comes, I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera. Hang on, there we go. Oh, and I, um, hang on. I need to tighten the screw in my handle here and the machine comes with a little Allen wrench. Look at this. Oh, now it won't come off. Well, that's good. But my handle fell off because my screw came loose. And I need to use that Allen wrench to tighten it, and I can't find it. I know the exact bin that it's in. I just don't know where it is. Did I tape it? Sometimes I tape it on the bottom. But anyways, I'll find my Allen wrench because I know exactly which bin it's in. I just don't know where the bin is. Moving is terrible, right? I just can't hardly wait to move a whole house. That's going to be horrible. Okay, so then, hang on, i got to grab my... Take your pick tool. Now, I have my take your pick tool in a paper pumpkin box. I also have a strip of magnetic paper here so that when I get done doing my whatever I do in here, I can throw my dies up here and they won't get lost in all the trash. But... This little deal is an accessory for your take your pick tool. You just screw the end off and put this in here. You get this die brush and two of these foam pads for $9. So they're really nice. I love this thing. And then of course the take your pick tool comes with two putty refills and I think four different gadgets on it for $10. So you have to have the take your pick tool to then buy this accessory, but You'll love it. Okay, look, all the bits and pieces are out. I'm gonna take this out of here so I don't lose it. And I just like to store mine in here. You take this, dump off all your bits and pieces, and away you go. Okay. Oh, Renette is saying that she is still looking for her stamparatus. I am so sorry. I know right where mine is. If you lived closer, I'd let you borrow one. I have several of them from doing classes. Okay, now, here's our embossing folder. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up with the image in the embossing folder. And what I found is I did 19 of these, that they're super easy. There's nothing hard about them. I'm gonna line this right up like this. I'm gonna close it and keep it in place. Now I'm gonna bring in my big boss again. And I have to remove this plate and use this plate and all of that information is right here this is a 3d embossing folder and it tells me i need plate number four and plate number one so here we go always put the spine or the hinge of your embossing folder through your machine first that keeps it in good shape so it doesn't crack on the end oh 
Lisa found her Hey Chicks Day upset today. Good for you. So I was telling everybody last night that we have a new promotion with the Hey Chick. We got Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. And if you join my team, you can order two bundles with the most adorable dyes ever is part of your kit and it's a good way to try it out and see if you'd like being a discount shopper on my team it's super fun all right so watch this 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 was an idea i came up with this morning after i had already designed my card i decided oh i wonder how this would look so i'm just going to bring in a piece of a couple pieces of some grid paper here let's turn it over so that it's not curled up and then i have got my shimmer paint and this stuff you guys if you don't have any of the shimmer paint it comes in frost white and champagne I think those are the two colors that we have let me look quick hang on a second um shimmer paint did you guys know there's a product guide right here so I just went shimmer paint page 147 I want to make sure I give you the right information and here it is right here. So, yep, we have two colors, Frost White and Champagne. It's $8. One of these little bottles literally lasts you forever. I don't know if I've ever replaced mine. So, this is original. This is actually, we used to sell these a while ago, and we retired them, and then we brought them back. I think this is still from then. So, $8 is a really good investment. Then the other thing is the spritzers. Now, Stampin' Up! spritzers are really nice because they give you a very, very thin mist. And that's what you need for these techniques. Very thin mist when you spray them. You get two of these in a package for, I think, $3. Where are they? Right? No, oh, that's not them. Hang on. I, I did a little marker thing. Oh, they're on this page. Uh, right here. Here they are. At the bottom of page 146. And they are... $3. You get two in a pack for $3. So make sure you, if you don't have any of these, add them to your order with your shimmer paint. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is this is that take your pick die cut brush tip on the bottom of page 172. So there we go. I covered all my bases, showed you where to get stuff. You guys know if you go to my online store, You'll find it on my blog. Use this host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. But um, if you go to my store, all you have to do is type in shimmer and it'll pop right up. All you have to type in is dye brush and that dye brush thing will pop right up. Spritzers, that'll pop right up. So you don't really need item codes anymore. Okay, now... I'm going to have to refill this, I'm sure, because um, I have a whole bunch of these to do. And I thought, well, as long as I was going to show you this card, I might as well just show you how to do this whole thing and get my swaps done. So I'm just going to take my paper and kind of set it up here so it doesn't get anything on my iPad. But I've got some paper here. You want to protect your surface. Um, what I did is I took rubbing alcohol and I filled it about this full, so about three quarters of the way, two thirds, three quarters with rubbing alcohol. There's no exact science to this. It's not that important. Fill it up with rubbing alcohol to about here. You always shake up your paint and then you're going to put a dollop in. How much is a dollop? Maybe like a quarter teaspoon, okay? But what happens is you're like, Kelly, how do I know if I have enough? Well, you're going to shake this up and try it out on a dark piece of cardstock. Let me grab something that's dark and pretty. Ooh, look at this tag. Okay, so you can test it out on a scrap of cardstock. Hold it back a little bit. Do you see any shimmer on there? If you do, you're good to go. If you don't have much shimmer, you can add some more of this. But it doesn't take much, okay? Look at how pretty that is. You can turn any paper anything into a shimmery, beautiful, delicious element, <laughs> right? Okay, so now I am going to add some shimmer to my shells. That, that was my intention here. So I'm just going to lay that down there. I'm holding it back about mm, six to eight inches, and I'm just going to spritz it. And can you see how that makes that beautifully shimmery? 
just like the shimmer paper that I showed you that goes with the sweet, also get yourself some of this. Get the paper too, but you're gonna want some of this. So there's one. I'm gonna set that aside. Here comes number two. Set that aside. You gotta let it dry now. Blue dots and dimensionals do not like to stick to things that are wet, damp, moist. My friend Dina hates the word moist, so I like to say it a lot when I'm talking about damp stuff. <laughs> moist is not a friendly word with her. Okay, so I can see that I'm getting empty, and you can see that because it's getting a little splotchy. So I'm going to show you how to fill this up. Oh, um, let's see. Debbie is saying she's replying to Courtney, and Courtney, I missed your question. I can watch for it now if you want to re-ask it. But thank you, Debbie, for um, answering her. I don't know what the question was. Okay, so I'm going to fill this up. Let's pray with me that I do not spill this all over the place. Oh, I can feel it spilling a little bit. Okay, do I have my tissues here? Probably not. Let me grab a baby wipe. Since I moved in my new office, I don't... I kind of lost track of my Kleenexes, and I need to get a box in here. Okay, so I'm just going to set this over here and not spill it while I get the alcohol off my hands. Of course, rubbing alcohol won't hurt anything. Another question I get asked frequently with this technique is, what is the percentage? It's 70%, but quite frankly, it doesn't matter, I don't think. You can use whatever you have in your cupboard or get some at the dollar store. So... Here comes, oops, make sure you shake this. You're waiting for me to spill this, aren't you? I am too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yay! Okay, here we go. Um, where did that baby wipe go? You can see I got a bunch of dried junk around the top here. I'm just gonna pull that off so it doesn't fall into my concoction here. So, here we go. We're gonna just pour in. Can you guys still see that? Just a dollop, that's it. I think that'll be perfect. Linda says she loves the shimmer paint and the spritzer. I do too. Now, of course, you want to shake it up in here too. It's all pearly and beautiful. And I put a little sticky um, label on that says white. And then I have another one. Oh, that's an old one. I have another one that says champagne. And again, I can just shake this up. Now, one thing I found when I went to grab my white one is that my little tip was kind of clogged up. So I don't know what you're going to do about that, except that when you're done using this, you know, only make a little bit of it maybe. I don't know. But um, it didn't, and it's been sitting there for a couple of years. Otherwise, <laughs> it's usually fine. But you might want to empty it out. I don't know. It's up to you. Okay, so I ran out. Now we're going to bring in some more. I told you I was making swap cards today, and I got a lot of them. 19. And that this is just how simple it is. And I'm just tossing them off to the side. They're sitting right on top of each other to dry. Hello, Mary Schreiber. I'm happy to see you here. And Claudia says, thanks for reminding me to use my shimmer. You're welcome. It's my job, Claudia. Always want to do a good job. Okay, now we've got that done. I'm going to move this out of the way. And now we're going to just let those sit there and dry. And I'm going to bring in my card base again. So I've got a few of these stamps mounted. And I've got some ink colors here. And I think I wanted to try the um, Blushing Bride. And let's see, I want to see what that's going to look like with my little, um, what do you call these, starfish. That looks kind of cool, right? I think I'll do maybe one of these. Uh, let's do this other one first. See, I haven't actually made the inside yet. I did the inside on all my swaps, but... Okay, so we're going to put this conch shell. How about we put the conch shell right there? And we're going to do the little starfish right here. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? I love it. Okay. That's done. Now, I took a whole bunch of the designer paper so I could be able to do this, and I cut it four by five and a quarter. 
Where's my glue? Right here. So I am going to, hi Candy, happy to see you here. I'm gonna glue this right on the front of my Whisper White Thick Card Base. And then, let's see now, I thought I had a bunch of these done someplace. Oh, here, here they are. Oh wait, I got, oh, I got a couple that I didn't even do yet in the embossing folder. All right, I still have to do those. But now I'm gonna bring in this and I'm gonna put this right on the front of my card. Isn't that pretty? And look at how it's shimmery. It's, oh, it's delicious. I'm going to just glue this on. You could use um, dimensionals if you wanted to. I think that's gonna get a little dicey with these little leafy parts, you know? So that's why I decided just to glue it right on here. Oop, I see, hang on, I see a little bit that didn't get out. There we go. I'm just gonna put that on here. That paper in the background makes it look so pretty, doesn't it? What do you guys think of that? I love it. Yeah, Linda says um, she came in late because she thought I wasn't going to be live today. I know. I told you guys I didn't want to promise you anything. But I told you that um, I wasn't going to lie to you and tell you I was going to be live if I couldn't do it. So I said it was a maybe. Today was definitely a maybe. And I thought since I have to do all of these swap cards, I might as well stamp with you and I can get these done. All right, I'm going to take my conch shell, that's gray granite ink, and I'm just going to stamp it around on here. This is kind of a watercolory image, which is neat. I want one more right there. Then I'm going to come in with my little starfish and add a little, some starfishes in here. I actually saw one of these in the ocean one time, very cool. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. And then we're going to get rid of these. The only other thing you're going to need for this card is a scrap of white and a scrap of Blushing Bride. So I've got Memento ink here. And in this stamp set, there's several sentiments. I'm just going to use the For You sentiment. Okay. And then I've got a new punch. So, how many of you have this fabulous oval punch? This is also brand new in the JJ Mini catalog. It does a scallop and a smaller layering oval. It is a bundle with the oval occasion stamp set. And these are nice little sentiments that fit right in here. The little images fit in here. Very, very cute. They go together together or you can buy them separately. If you buy them together, you save 10%. So, it's a good deal. Okay, we've got that, and now I'm going to punch this out in the bottom, just like that, and then I thought what might be kind of fun, hang on, is, let's see, do we have anything on here? Nope, is to bring back that Blushing Bride, whoops, and maybe stamp some of these little clammy things. I don't know what these are called, but they're pretty. Just like that, what do you think? I like that. And then, Julie is asking are, if the punches are the same size as the old ones we had. I do not know, Julie. They seem to be a little bit smaller. And this oval is not a scallop, it's more wavy edges, so. I do not know, because I don't have the old ones. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this on here and hopefully center it, because that's always a good plan, right? <laughs> and I don't even know where my original card went. That's gonna be a problem because I think I have that in my numbers. Huh, well, maybe I'll find it, I don't know. But next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take some of this beautiful, beautiful ribbon. This is Blushing Bride metallic ribbon and look how pretty it is. It's got kind of a gold metallic fleck on one side and the other side is just Blushing Bride pink and it's very pretty. Let me grab, oh I don't think these are my good sharp scissors. I'm going to have to grab my big scissors because I packed stuff up to go to this event. So I'm just going to cut a couple little pieces here and I want the gold side to show. So I've got both pieces there that I just cut. And then I'm going to take these and stack them just like this. 
and I want them on the back of my little oval, right about there. I'll show you in a minute when I can get my fingers out of the way. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape on here and grab some dimensionals. There we go. Back off to the side. Here comes this. And hello, Cindy from Coos Bay, Oregon. I'm happy to see you here. I think I'm gonna put that right about here. Here's our envelope. Here's our pretty little card. And let's add a couple of these little buggers. These are those um, pearlescent, maybe just one. They're called opal rounds. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna leave this as an all occasion card. I can stamp a birthday in it. I can stamp a get well in here, a happy anniversary, whatever I need. There we go, isn't that pretty? Yeah, now I wonder where, where did my original card go? Because <laughs> I'm gonna need that in my swap count. Isn't that funny how we lose things? So now I am ready to roll with this. And when we do swaps, I do a lot of swapping with my team. We put our cards in these clear envelopes and then I put my name on a little piece of paper and throw that in the back, seal these up, and I'll have a whole bunch of these when I'm done. 19 to be exact. Oh, I see. Here's a whole bunch of these too. I already did those. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I have left to do before I can go to Oshkosh, you guys. So... It's going to be a busy, busy afternoon for me. And I think I'll be able to get these done fairly quickly. I've got all of this done. Look at all of these. Yay! Here we go. Tons and tons of these. I forgot to put the little seashells on there, and I really wish I would have. And then I tried to do it, but that was kind of a disaster because I've got dimensionals on the back already. So this is what an assembly line looks like. Oh, and Tanya says she misses the Amish tape struggles. I think Kimberly made a comment about it, too. <laughs> yeah, um, I, do, I don't really. It's, I'm done with that. <laughs> Lisa likes the gray color. This is gray granite. I thought it went, and it was a, a good accent with this paper. So I've got a couple different colors or designs of the paper. Here's another one. Let's look at that. Oh, these, this is what the back looks like. So I could take this one and I could use that too. So you got this or this. And then I also have this one, which is really pretty too. I think I'll turn this over, put my shells on here. And because this is Blushing Bride, it'll pop more down here where this is pink up here and yellow down here. What else do I have? Let's see. Oh, here I've got this one. That's gonna be very pretty, right? So I just love the way these turned out. Here's a different one with all the different colors and um, patterns of the paper. So really pretty, right? Do you include the envelope with the swap? Wendy wants to know. Yes, absolutely. Oh, no, this envelope, absolutely not. <laughs> nope, that I just make those up so that I can send the card out to somebody. And this is going to be my sample here, so I'll keep this. I need to take some pictures of that so I can put it on my blog. You guys know that I have all of the um, still photos, dimensions, and even a shopping list. And when I say shopping list, yes, you can shop from it, but it also lists all the different colors of inks and all the tools that I use to make the card. So maybe you're not necessarily looking to shop, but you want to look at that list if you're looking to see, well, what color inks did she use? And what was the color of that gray paper? What was the name of that designer paper? You're gonna find all of that stuff on my blog. Now, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video. Sharing is what really helps me out. It helps me grow my business. And you never know who in your friend list might be interested in to put your name with the picture. Um, I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm thinking that you mean all of these, all of these little labels that I will put in the back of my cards in those clear envelopes. Is that what you're talking about? Let me know if that's exactly what you want. 
um, because this is just a print. It's 30. I, I, I type it up on a in my Word document and I print 30 out on one sheet of print paper. So that's what these are. I think that's what you're maybe asking me. <laughs> Pam says, thank you, Kelly. Have a great weekend at Oshkosh. I will have a great weekend at Oshkosh. Thank you guys so much for the share. I really appreciate it. And like I said, if I can, I'll see if I can go live tomorrow and share some of the pretty displays with you guys because, oh, so much fun. And now remember, no matter where you are in the world, when you join my team, you get information about all of these types of events. And um, this event this weekend has 60 people registered. I don't know exactly how many are going to be there in person, but there's a whole bunch that are doing the online version. So events like this are available to everyone. And when you're part of my team, you get notifications like this. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to be a demonstrator. You can be a discount shopper and still come to this stuff. And the majority of my team are discount shoppers, and I love them. Don't forget, when you join during celebration, that ends February 28th you get five packs of designer series papers in all of our color families, which is amazing. And you get to choose your kit, whatever you would like your kit to be. You get to choose $125 worth any product for only $99 and free shipping. And I see Linda says we have some definite talent in the family. Yes, we do, Lisa, not Linda, Lisa. Yes, we do. Okay. Renate said, you said you were taking a picture, and I see people with their names on the picture with their card. Oh, you're talking about a watermark. And um, Renate, I, I use PicMonkey to make my watermarks, and I actually had a web designer design mine, and I bought it. She, I paid her to do that. And so you bring it into a software called PicMonkey. That's what I use. There's several different ones, but PicMonkey is P-I-C. M-O-N-K-E-Y dot com. And you have to pay for it. It's a paid program. And that's how I bring my photos in. I brighten them. I edit them. I sharpen them. I crop them. And then I bring my watermark into them. All through this PicMonkey program. So great question. I know there's a lot of demonstrators on here. And um, I'm always happy to share that information. And if you guys are wondering, too, this is the type of information. I do a Wednesday training with my friends Dina and Barb um, to train our team members, whether you're a discount shopper or a demonstrator. We do a Zoom meeting every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Central Time. It's always recorded, so you can watch it later if that time isn't good for you. And these are the type of questions that they'll ask is, I don't know how to do a watermark. And we'll go through on screen and show them how to do stuff like that. Um, or even, I don't know how to put in an order with my discount. Don't forget, you get a 20% discount with all of your orders after you order the kit from me and join my team. And Wendy wanted to know, Wendy, what are you asking about the Mini Boss? The Mini Boss is available to demonstrators right now. And, um, oh, Renee, it's one of Dina's. Renee, are you doing the Wednesday training with us? You should be on there. It's a lot of fun. Lots of shenanigans happen on Wednesday. We call it our Demo 101 training. Wendy, this is that little baby boss, mini boss, and it is available for sale right now. It is $60, and it comes with all the plates you need to use it. So I'm not really sure what your question was. Oh, and Teresa said yes. Okay. So thanks for answering that, Teresa. I appreciate it. All right, you guys. I have got a gazillion. Only 18 more to go. <laughs> swap cards to make so I am going to be gluing and doing all the fun things now remember I wanted that to be at the top of my card so that when I put that little oval on the bottom it's popping more because it is blushing bride right so yeah I'm just gonna be sitting here I'm gonna go downstairs and get some enchilada bake via Costco a la Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve took my Explorer today. We got my Explorer back. Um, it had to go in for a recall. It had to have the hood repainted on it because it was um, bubbling and it's a manufacturer's defect. Oh, Wendy, yes, the Mini and the Big Boss go towards your $99. Yes, they do. Thank you, Deb. The other thing I want to tell you guys is you get to order $125 worth of product 
but you cannot go over 125. So you have to sit down and figure out what you're going to order and get up to that 125. Once you put that order in, all of your future orders are going to be um, a 20% minimum discount, depending on what you do. If you're going to be a discount shopper, you're going to get a 20% discount. If you're going to sell this or you have friends or family that might want to order with you, once you get to a certain spot in how much you've ordered, um, you will get a 25% discount, and that's a promotion to Bronze Elite. Um, anybody who stays with me is going to promote to that level. Everybody does. Then you get a 25% discount. You have to maintain that. And then, um, depending on what you want to do with this whole thing, right now, I get a 38% discount on everything I order or everything I sell, I make 38%. So that's how I get paid. Heidi says, your Explorer did the same thing. Heidi, contact your Ford dealership. That is garbage. Yeah, they said there's a defect. And so we just happened to know about that defect because when we were in there buying the Explorer... We um, were in the garage part, and our salesman told us, Oh, <laughs> look what I did, you guys! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> when we were in, um, they, were, they just got one repainted, and the salesman told us that there was a defect with them, and that's why that Explorer was in there. And so when we saw ours was doing it, um, Steve... Remember, I told you guys this story. Steve came up to me and he said, the Explorer paint is peeling on the hood. You need to call Mitch and you need to get it covered under warranty. And that was when I gave him the look. You know the look, you guys. I gave him the look. And I said, um, I think that's something you can take care of. You contact Mitch and make it happen. And if Mitch argues with you, then you send in the pit bull. That would be me. And I will take care of it. I know you guys think I'm just really sweet and nice and just, ooh, but I can be quite the little pit bull. <laughs> and I'm not rude. I just am very persuasive. <laughs> okay, so see how I'm fixing that? Now I'm going to have to take the other piece off too, right? Because I can't give anybody a card that looks like that. But I am going to salvage. <laughs> I should have left this card together and sent it to my friend Sue Molden. Anytime we make a silly mistake like that, we send that card to each other and we laugh and laugh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let me see. Stamping and talking. Oh, sometimes it can be kind of dicey. So yeah, that's what happened to my Explorer. And so they painted it in about a day. And um, so Steve, I went and picked it up. We went and picked it up together after I took Val home yesterday. Which, by the way, she fell asleep in the car and then was asleep. And that's not very fun for me. I know lots of moms are like, oh my gosh, I wish they'd just go to sleep. And me, I'm like, wake up, I'm going to pinch you. <laughs> I don't pinch the baby. Nobody should pinch the baby. But anyways, um, Steve and I went and picked up the Explorer. And he took it and washed it. Like, I was really kind of surprised and a little disappointed. And the next time I have to talk to Mitch about my Explorer. See, this is where the little pit bull thing comes in. I will say, geez, you guys like painted my entire hood on my Explorer, but you couldn't wash it? Like, I think I just spent a lot of money with you and you have your own wash bays. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm expecting too much, but it was filthy. So Steve took it and washed it because I'm going to Oshkosh tonight. And he actually cleaned out, let me get my hair out of there, cleaned out the entire inside too. Don't let me, I can't get that mixed up with the good ones. He cleaned the inside for me today, and he took it to the car wash and washed it, so it's all sparkly and beautiful. It's charcoal gray, and I have to say that it gets really dirty. I wish I almost wish I could have got a white one. And I know those look dirty, but not as dirty as charcoal gray, I don't think. They're, it looks filthy, but I'm still very happy about that purchase. Like last time I bought a vehicle, I was like kicking myself. I was so mad at myself. I bought an Explorer back in... Haley was 16, okay, and she's 26, so 10 years ago, what is this, 2000, so it would have been 2021, 2011, that's the last vehicle that I bought, and I bought it used, it had about, I don't know, 30,000 miles on it, and after I finalized my purchase, I was just so mad at myself, I was kicking myself, and then I didn't like the vehicle because I was mad at myself for making a stupid decision, wasn't a bad decision as far as, you know, it's a nice vehicle to have, 
but it was way too much money for me at that time. And I knew that making those payments was going to really kind of put me in a, in a rough spot. And I just kept saying, Kelly, why were you so stupid? Why did you get talked into this? You should have never let yourself be talked into this. Guess who talked me into it? Huh? Yeah. You guys know who did. Steve. So anyways, then I hated the vehicle for a very long time until I got it paid for. <laughs> and then I loved it and I didn't want to get rid of it. But this Explorer that I just bought now, I'm in a much better place than I was at that time. And um, I don't regret my decision to buy it yet. It was a lot of money, but um, I have a plan in place that I want to pay it off really, really quick so that I don't have that feelings of anxiousness. And that's what I plan on doing. So I'm still very happy with my purchase and I love it. It's so, so nice. Yeah, Lisa says her daughter has white. She so wished she would have signed up for Christina's event. I do too. It was a lot of, it's going to be fun. I can tell you that. Christina is a go-getter and she does a really nice job and she puts on good events. Last year was her first one and it's it was spectacular. I can say it was almost one of the best events that I've ever been to. Like probably the best. So... Um, Yolanda says she had many colors of cars but love the white more than any other for looking clean. Yeah, I know. It's just white is, you know, if you go down south, like when we were in Arizona, everybody's cars are white. It's crazy, like how many white cars. And I get why they do that because then it's so hot and sunny down there, then you don't end up in a scorching hot black vehicle, right? Because that's going to be warmer. I almost said more warm. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of white vehicles down south. But yeah, I, I almost, because we had a white um, Subaru, and that was nice. And it's funny, too, because Steve is the one who came home. Yeah, Catherine goes, you mean the crazy car payment? Yeah, I do. Um, Steve is the one who came home and said he was considering getting rid of his Subaru. He wanted to get something with just a little bit more room in it. We had a Subaru Outback. He did. And um, I didn't even have a vehicle anymore because I took my old Explorer back in March and I gave it to my sister. And so I didn't even have a vehicle, but he had the um, Subaru. So he was talking about getting rid of the Subaru and he was talking about buying a Ford Edge and nothing against Ford Edges. I know they're nice. And for those of you that have them, I know you love them. And But I said, listen, <laughs> if you're going to buy something... Why not buy something substantial? I really like to be in a truck. I do not like car. Oh, <laughs> see what happens when I'm yakking. I don't like cars because I don't like to be down low. I grew up in four wheel drive trucks because we lived out in the country in the middle of nowhere in Wisconsin. We have four wheel drive trucks all my life and I just really like being up higher so you can see what's happening in traffic or any place else, right? So. I, um, Nancy says her car will be paid off later this month. Good for you, Nancy. It's such an amazing feeling, isn't it? Um, so anyways, so he's saying Ford Edge or something like that. And I said, why don't we just get something? I don't want a Ford Edge. I, if you're going to buy something different, something new, I do not want a Ford Edge. That is not what I want to drive. And so I said, why don't we just get an Explorer? When we went out on a road trip, not last year, but the year before out west, we rented a Ford Explorer, a brand new one, and we loved it. And it was so funny because we got in it, the guy, the salesman, the um, renter guy, he says, here you go, here's your car, and we put everything in it. And then Steve and I both sat there looking at each other. We're like, we don't know what to do. Like, where's the key? Where's the keys? I don't know how to start this. I don't know anything about these new vehicles because both of our vehicles, mine was a 2000... Was a 2006 and his truck is a 2004 so we don't have any of these new fancy things right so we sat there in Denver Colorado at the airport rental car place going huh so then I got out and I went over and grabbed a guy that was standing there and I said can you come here for a minute like really on the slide because it was just a tad bit little bit embarrassing and he came over and I said we don't know what to do <laughs> laughed and laughed well he didn't laugh all that much we laughed and laughed but he did kind of laugh at us 
And he told us that the key fob was in the council and all we had to do was push the button. And then he proceeded to tell us some of the things that the vehicle would do because we had no idea all the fancy stuff, right? And it was fancy, you guys. So, oops, I almost did it again. So let's do one this way. When I was talking to Steve about this new Ford Edge that he was going to get rid of the Subaru for, I ixnayed that. Suddenly, you know what it turned into? It turned into not Steve getting a new vehicle, but Kelly buying and paying for a new vehicle. And Steve sold his Subaru, and Kelly bought a new Explorer, and that was, that was it. So Steve got rid of his Subaru payment, and Kelly got a car payment. How did that, how did he manage that? Like, that was slick, right? But I do love my Explorer. I like, I'm, the last time I bought a vehicle, I was just so angry and like fearful actually, because I'm like, oh my Lord, how am I going to pay for this? That was so stupid. I don't have any business having a vehicle that costs this much money, da, 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 And it was used. Now I got this Explorer. Oh, and by the way, this Explorer is used also. I do not buy new vehicles. I just think they're an incredible waste of money. But um, this Explorer only had like, I don't know, 20,000 miles on it. So it's like almost brand new. And I saved a ton of money because it's almost brand new and it's used. So anyways, there's my car story in a nutshell. You guys sleeping yet? Is everybody like snoring, yawning, going, oh my God, is she ever going to shut her yap? <laughs> no, I know you guys aren't. You wouldn't still be here. You'd have just signed off, right? <laughs> Judy says she loved her Explorer. She had it for 12 years. I did too. I Once I got it paid for, I loved it. And it's still running. Like, my sister has it. Well, I gave it back in March. She took control. And she still has it. And it's like the best vehicle. I'm hoping she gets tons and tons of miles out of it. So, yeah. It's a good, good vehicle. So, anyways, the new Explorer is even better because it's so fancy. Like, I can't believe how fancy these vehicles are. But yeah, we keep our vehicles a really long, long time. Steve was talking last week about buying a truck. He's got an itch, you know. I need to take him on a vacation. He's like restless. And so he's he's been looking on his iPad. He found this truck not too far away from us. He's going to go look at it. He went and test drove it out in Greenville. And um, he said it had wimpy tires on it. And the wimpy tires made it ride like a lumberjack, lumber wagon. And so... He was going to have the guy find him some other things. But in the process of that, then he decided, nope, I, we don't have any place to park another truck. We only have a one-lane driveway. We don't have another place to park another truck. And he doesn't want to get rid of the truck that he has. Because once we move at some point in the next couple of years, we're planning on moving, probably outside of town, we want to keep that truck for a plow truck. Because it's an awesome truck and he took exceptional care of it like he pampered it and babied it and it's been in the garage always we only took it hunting that's what we did with it so he doesn't want to get rid of it and it's not worth much like it's only worth about 10 grand it only has 120,000 miles on it it's an awesome truck I love it so anyways he said he'll just wait he just bought a four-wheeler he's got a he's got a little loan on that he'll pay that off first and he'll probably pay it off pretty fast because I think in spring he's going to buy a truck. He keeps saying, no, nah, I'll just wait. And it's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I know how you operate. This is not my first rodeo with him. <laughs> so anyways, and Sharon says they're Honda people. Yeah, Hondas are good cars too, right? They are. They're good cars. And Danny has an Equinox. Nancy drives her cars until they die. Then she buys a new one. Good for you. Uh, oh, Jane says she had to pull up the owner's manual to put gas in the rental. I was so embarrassed. I know. It's like, I get it. Like, these things are so... Oh, Marcia wants to know what DSP this is. She's like, Kelly, shut up about the cars. No, I'm just kidding. Um, This is the seashell DSP. This is called Sand and Sea Designer Series Paper. And it is in the mini... The new JJ Mini. This is what we're calling the Spring Mini Catalog on page 41, right here. Absolutely beautiful. So there you go. Thanks for going. Yeah. 
Catherine's a Toyota girl. Yup, we all got our we all we all got our things. We all have our things. I am a Ford girl, and I do Ford because my dad was a big Ford man. Like we were a Ford family, and my dad was a truck driver as well as my mom. They they owned their own semi and did over the road truck driving for many 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 years. And he was a Ford man. Everything we ever owned was Ford except one Dodge van. And that didn't last too long till it died. <laughs> Sorry, Dodge people. There's nothing, nothing against Dodge. I like Dodge too. But um, that's, what we, that's what we buy is Fords. And that's why. And the other reason why I buy Fords is because the government didn't have to bail them out. So there you have it. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of have a thing about that. So Betty says she's an Edge owner and she loves it. Yeah, I think my mom has an Edge. Is that the smaller one, Betty? I think that's the smaller one. Deborah has a GMC Arcadia. Those are really nice, too. You know what my ideal, my dream vehicle was that I really wanted to get? Was either a um, Lincoln Navigator, a Ford Expedition, or a Cadillac Escalade. Not even kidding, you guys. That's what I would love to have. If I ever win the lottery, that's what I will own. But at seventy, eighty thousand dollars, are you out of your gourd? <laughs> I am not crazy. But like, if you if you win the lottery, then it doesn't matter, right? But I just couldn't justify buying something like that. But that's what I would like to have. So for any of you that have one of those, I'm jealous. Very, very jealous. Is aren't these just so pretty? Oh, and Marsha has a Buick Encore. It's a lease. That's fine. C.A. Hutchinson says Ford here. Yep. Ooh, Sharon says she, last year they bought a Mustang convertible. Oh, girlfriend. I have had one, two, two Mustangs. Haley's first car was a Mustang. We bought it for her for her birthday. And the reason why we did that is because my dad always wanted to, he wanted to buy her a Mustang. He bought me a Mustang for my first car. And it was candy apple red. It was beautiful. 64 and a half Mustang. Loved it. And he wanted to buy Haley a Mustang. And then my dad got sick. And he had to quit working. And then, of course, whoops, you guys see me doing this? Um, buying her a car was not reasonable anymore. So I made sure that I followed through on his wish for her to have a Mustang. He wanted her to have a little sports car, and of course, being Ford people, Mustang is the way to go. So I made sure she got a Mustang for her birthday, and oh my lord, she loved it. Char has a 65 Mustang convertible. Jealous! So yeah, that was my daughter's first car. I had a 79 Mustang and a 64 and a half. It was actually a 64 and a half Mustang. And loved them both. The, the 79 was kind of like, meh, whatever. But the 64 and a half, mm, delicious. Yeah, so cars schmars, right? Yeah, grew up in a Ford family. Then my brother bought a Chevy truck. And oh my lord, my dad teased him like crazy. Like, you can't park that in my driveway, you know. You're going to have to park that out on the road when you come to visit. And all that kind of stuff. It was really quite funny. And my brother would took it, you know, he laughed along with it because he knew my dad wasn't serious. Like 100% serious. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. I don't think we've done this color, have we? I don't think we did. Baby blue Mustang Joanne had. Yay for you. Heidi had a 73. Me and my BFF are Thelma and Louise Sharon Taylor. So that's good for you. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, so look at how far I am, guys. I still have to redo this one, but that's okay. It's just a Whisper White card base. I got lots of them. They make them every day, right? That's what my dad used to say. Like, I remember one time my clutch was making a horrible noise. I had a, um, it was a four-speed. My clutch was making this helicopter noise. When I'd push it in, it'd go, da -da 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 -da. and I told my dad about it. My dad was terrible about maintenance, so that's what's really different about my husband, is my husband is a maintenance freak and my dad was like yeah if it runs just drive it so anyways my clutch was making this horrible noise and um, I told him dad my clutch is making this horrible noise and he's like is it still running that was my dad is it still running 
I'm like, yeah, it's still running. He's like, then drive it. <laughs> so, so I did. Anyways, what happened was the um, one of the bolts came out of the clutch plate. And I'm a truck driver's daughter, so I know a few things about cars. <laughs> Um, one of the one of the bolts came out of the clutch plate and it vibrated so bad that it ruined the clutch and if he would have just taken a look at it and put that bolt back in whoops I'm gonna do this way um, it would have just been a bolt in the clutch instead it ruined the whole thing and he, we had to get a new one and of course that time I'm a teenager so my dad you know he I I lived in a family where we didn't have to do all that ourselves we didn't have jobs and whatever I mean, I did have a job when I was 16, but my dad paid for stuff. He was just nice that way. And um, anyways, he took it in to get it fixed, and it cost more for that Mustang clutch than it did for a clutch in his semi. So <laughs> he was really wishing he would have taken a little look-see at that when I said there was something wrong with it and replaced a bolt. But, you know, sometimes that just drive it thing, will, it'll bite you in the butt, right? Yeah, and it did. But whatever, I got a new clutch and away we went. Oh, is that it? Huh. Well, let's see. How many do we have here now? I have one. Oh, this was the original one I made, you guys. That's why. Yeah, this one looks a little different. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Boom! 19, baby. We are good to go. All right, I'm going to let you go so I can go eat. I wonder why I made too many. Well, that'll be good because I can tear this off of there and put it on this one, right? I'm going to, oh, I got two too many. Well, apparently math is hard. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go so I can go get something to eat. And then I'm going to put these, um, the embellishments on here and put these all in the envelopes and head to Oshkosh. Thank you guys so much for stamping with me and thank you for the conversation. I loved hearing about all your cars. Claudia says she learned to drive a Mustang. I learned to drive a stick shift. I remember when I got in my grandma's car to drive it for her one day, I pulled up to the place we went to and turned it off and she's like, um, you have to put it in drive. I'm like, what are you talking about? So I just only knew how to drive a stick shift, right? Yeah. Okay, you guys, have a great weekend. If I can, I'll try and pop on a little bit and show you some displays tomorrow. If I can't, I won't, but I will be back here Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. Same channel. I have no idea what we're going to make, but I'm going to get tons of ideas this weekend. Thank you guys for the well wishes for my weekend and my Stampin' Up! event, and you guys have a great weekend, too. Bye-bye.